got a regular day. We got a full lineup of shirts to paint. We're gonna do it. First, I have to fill up some stuff, fill up some paints. Do, 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 do. Putting some gray text black in here. Whoa. It's super thick. This paint today is molasses. Createx has been very inconsistent with their paints that they've been sending me. Something different every day. I should not have to tap paint down into my bottle. I'm actually going to add a little bit more reducer than normal because it's so thick. There we go. Hey guys, what is going on? Getting some comments in there. Let me turn some music on in the background real quick. Excuse my garage. And my streaming happening over here. I didn't even open Spotify yet. Rip. Oof. What do I have? To, what do I want to start with? I'm going to start with some basic script. Here we go. Haley, H-A-L-E-Y. Hopefully my airbrush is good. I think it's fine. Little, little fuzzy. There we go, now it's working right. I didn't back flush my paint, so even though I mixed up the paint bottle, I still had a bunch of paint that wasn't mixed. I didn't spray that out. I need to make sure my voice is coming through. I think it is. Hi, 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 hi. There it is, okay. I plugged my mic in after I started the stream, so I was like, I hope that this actually transfers over. I'm gonna paint this too real quick. Life nor death. Let's do life, a small nor, and then death underneath. Get out of here. Should be up and running. I have a really slow computer over there. Let's go turn that music on. Answer some questions. Do I have any questions? How many orders do I do each day? It depends. Um, usually like 15, 10, 15. That's kind of generous. It really depends on the day. Um, I usually do about 15 shirts a day but I like to do orders that take longer and do less of them. I'd rather spend an hour on one shirt than paint 15 shirts in a couple hours. We got some aqua, orange, and navy. The navy and orange will work together. Is that the, sometimes the hardest part of my job is figuring out how to make the colors work well together. Thank you. 
over. This person is better at cursive than me. I'm okay at it. When it comes to cursive and airbrushing, um, my cursive is okay. But there's some people out there that are crazy good at that. I don't put nearly as many flourishes and, and effects and stuff um, as a lot of people do. Because mine just don't look as natural. That's something I need to work on still. Finally able to catch a live after a while. I'm glad that you're in here. Orange is always giving me trouble. And it's loud. Do you hear how loud it is? It's leaking. Those colors, they just don't feel right about mixing. Yeah, kind of like I was saying earlier that, that like these colors don't really go together. I would never put them together like of my own decision, but customers have the ability to and do request their own colors. And sometimes like this, they just doesn't always, I mean, this is okay, but sometimes it's a real struggle to get those colors on the shirt in a way that looks good um, customers like to try to be artists but they're not artists you know so they're like my favorite color is pink and red and please mix those two colors together and it doesn't work but it's kind of our, our job as professional artists to be able to work with whatever the client wants and find a way to make it work Sometimes it means only using a little bit of one color. If they want pink and red, for example. Just use a little tiny bit of red or a little tiny bit of pink and then run with the other color. But typically if they ask for those colors, it really doesn't, <laughs> they're not the type of customers that would be worried if it didn't match perfectly. They got the colors that they wanted and they're gonna be happy with it. So. No need to stress about those things. What is this? Pisces and turquoise and aqua. Aren't those the same colors? Turquoise and aqua. I got comments. Hey, man. Hello, everybody. Bring this with me. Pisces. P-I-S-C-E-S. I always gotta spell it out loud or I won't spell it right. Um, I feel real italicized. See, most of what I do is these really quick, simple shirts, which is great because it's, you know, not a lot of stress. I get to move on to the next thing and make some money for the day and then kind of do my own thing for the rest of the day. But I would like to do more work that, that you know, I can be proud of. I'm proud of everything. I think I do a good job on what I come out. Quality is a big deal for me, but I'm not going to remember this shirt tomorrow. It's a simple t-shirt. I want to paint something that, you know, that I want to post and share and be proud of and stuff. Somehow I have to do turquoise and aqua, which I had always considered the same color. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of fluorescent green into this blue. 
and it's going to satisfy the idea that there's multiple colors. Really, that's all I can do. We got a cool heart design in the background. Here, let me show you how to do a heart um, symmetrically. Do two circles that are the same, like they're in line, you see? And then you can just connect the bottom of the circles. And that's your, your perfectly symmetrical heart shape. Um, wink. Even though it was wonky. I told you how to do it and I did it wrong. Hearts are one of those shapes that I don't like to be symmetrical. I like mine like this, where they're kind of just, they're skewed a little bit on purpose to add some character. I'm gonna fill this in. Please make a doke. You've been asking me to make a doke for like, as long as you've been watching. I don't know what you mean by saying, please make a doke. Please explain what you're talking about. You told me to write doke? Make in shirt. All right, so you just don't speak English. What paint do I use? This paint is Createx paint. Um, I also have some ETAC paint. I think lately I've really been preferring ETAC over Createx. It's just a lot less tip dry. The colors are more vibrant and I'm getting more consistent paints from ETAC. The only reason I blocked him is because every time I stream, he sits there and says that the whole stream. This isn't a one-time thing. love from LA appreciate it I know what he's mean and he wants me to write doke on a t-shirt but he doesn't understand that these are orders so I'm not just painting requests and he asks it over and over and over and does it has been doing it for, for weeks and I've done it before I've painted it just on paper form he just spams up the chat with that request constantly B I B B Y is the text here
What would you make if someone placed an order asking you to do anything? Well, that would... What would I make? That would really depend on... Well, I wouldn't accept that order just as, as it stands. I would need some context. Um, if you want something custom made, we need to kind of talk about what it is you're looking for and how much time I'm expected to put into it and, you know, try to get some price points down and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What I like to do, if I, if I could just paint whatever I wanted to right now, I would paint graffiti text. I would probably just um, do it like a graffiti alphabet right now or something. I don't know. I spend so little time painting what I want to paint that when I don't, when I do have a minute to do it, I don't even know what I would paint. Like almost all of my work is done from prompts from customers. Paint this, paint this name, paint these colors and everything else. And my creativity is suffering because I'm just doing the same orders over and over. I want to draw a cool underwater scene with some sharks and some octopuses. Octopi. But not just like a traditional art piece. There would have to be letters incorporated into it, like a graffiti style. A surrealist sort of graffiti piece. I don't even know what it looked like. I have no... No idea. Yeah, that's, that's right, art freak. I am um, pretty much just always painting orders. It's, I got started painting at like one something in the afternoon today uh, because I got all of my administrative work done and emails and everything else organized and then finally got to get out here in the garage and paint. And as soon as I started painting, I turned on this camera, I paint for like an hour or two and then I'm done and I have a bunch of other stuff that I have to do and I just, I'm too busy doing everything but painting and it's kind of frustrating. This is interesting. Kitty and Bunny are the names. B U N N Y. It's just the busiest season of life for me too. It's not all airbrush work. It's just busyness of life. How long have I trained? No, it's no problem. How long have I been doing this? Is the questions here. Um, I've been painting for about 12 years. Give me one second. Been painting for 12 years. I started a long time ago at a fair doing um, work at King's Dominion. I'm trying to fix my other stream. I don't know if it's gonna work, whatever. 
Um, but I was self-taught pretty much. I was trained for about a year by another really great artist who I've talked about before. And he told me the basics of lettering and the basics of graffiti designs and stuff like that. But um, after about a year, year and a half or so of working with other artists, the season ended at that shop and I was working by myself. Um, I ended up opening a shop in the mall and doing my own thing for years. Uh, during that time I built my own website and grew the business from there. But pretty much self-taught since then. Got the fundamental basics of airbrushing and how the tool works and learned a crash course about lettering and styles and consistencies and things. Um, my shop, I don't have a physical shop anymore. Now it's just the online store, um, which is, there's links in the bio and stuff. But yeah, everything's just online. I kind of miss dealing with customers in person because you know, they're, they're real people <laughs> and stuff like that. It, there's pros and cons to it. It's nice to not have to talk to people because people are hard to talk to and they don't know what they want and stuff like that. But then you get bored and kind of lonely doing this by yourself all the time. I think a good balance for me is to do what I'm doing right now. Streaming is fun and all that too. And then there's local events that I can take advantage of that I haven't been. So I can do fairs and festivals and stuff. I'll get a trailer and be able to just pull that and, you know, have an airbrush set up already in the, the trailer and whatnot, make it easy on me. I promised myself and my, my wife that I would never open another airbrush shop unless I already had people lined up to work in it with me. I cannot take that on my own. I got my Omni kit from you, love it. Thanks again. You are welcome. All right, boards and pokers. The pokers, well, I have them for sale. You're talking about the little pokers that I poke in the bottle. I have them for sale on the website, but you can get them on Amazon. You can use anything. Um, you can use a, a dart, I don't know. Just anything that will poke in that hole just to, to plug it. It's not a particular thing. And shirt boards, you're asking about, you have to make them yourself. There's lots of different wood you can use. Just go to a hardware store and pick up uh, pieces of wood or whatever, measure your shirts and figure out how big you need them to be. I can even measure them now for you if you want to and give you some widths. But just, just cut it yourself. They're so big and awkward that shipping them would cost so much that it's impractical to sell them online. Even if the materials cost five bucks, and labor cost five bucks. They would have to sell it for 50 bucks because shipping would be so ridiculous. Do you have any friends that help me? No, I don't have any airbrush friends. It's kind of frustrating. Um, I have airbrush friends online, but nobody in real human person life that helps me. Um, here's some dimensions. My small board is 18 and a half. I'll comment these, 18 and a half, 22, 25. I'm Whoa, don't do that. Uh -oh. 18 and a half, 22, and 25 inch widths. And that handles pretty much all the boards that you need. Small, medium, and large, and up. Um, and don't forget you can just use like clothespins or something. Do I have kits now? I don't have kits still which is kind of frustrating. I don't think that I will be selling kits on that website anymore. I just don't think it's gonna happen. It's, they're not, still can't get a hold of anybody. It's whatever. Yellow, green, and blue. We're doing some graffiti text. Juke, jukebox junkie. And then I'm drawing a jukebox and a cell phone, okay. Jukebox junkie. Blue, green, yellow. Duke box, J-U-N-K-I-E. J-U-N-K-I-E. 
Work. I don't know if you guys can see that. You got to go see you later. Thanks for watching. How long have I been married? I've been married for seven years. <laughs> April 27th, 2013. This is for an older lady, so I need to make sure this is legible. And not too crazy. Thank you. Thank you guys. Mm. I don't like the bottom of that J, it breaks too many rules. This right here should be a consistent width and then turn and instead it gets narrow here which it's fine but it's not a it's not what I meant to do there's no undo with real paint and there's no covering up your first lines like with spray paint you got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Alright. Um, a jukebox. What does a jukebox look like? I gotta Google it. I got some in my head, but I don't think it's good enough to to work from. Jukebox. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Get out of here. Okay. I can do that. Let's... I'm not going to get super crazy detailed with it, but i got to build this thing. You love my siblings. Let's start with the basic shape. And some shadows to set it in a scene. I'm just gonna make it up. Yeah, being confident in the stroke of your life. Trigger control and airbrush control is, when I, I always say that your airbrushing skill, your physical airbrushing skill is a whole different skill set than your, um, than your art skill. They're two different things. There's definitely a learning curve to using this tool. It's more like learning an instrument. But once you've got it, you can make anything happen. 
know what I'm doing here. I'm making something up. Let's have some buttons. What kind of buttons do I want? When I'm drawing something like this, I like to add a lot of panels and things that can add detail easily. Draw your eye to those detailed parts and you can be kind of generic on the rest. I don't know what I'm gonna do down here. I'm just gonna do like some, some shelves, I don't know. I'm not really familiar with ju jukeboxes in my life. It's not something I find myself around often. When I'm, when I'm illustrating something like this, I know that I'm gonna come back with white later, and white is gonna be real sharp and crisp and gonna add depth and going to define a lot of these things. And that will happen later. How's it going? What's up, Brady? And now I'm going to do the cell phone on the other side. She's old, there's a jukebox. I'm still gonna do a smartphone. This smartphone's just gonna be black on a screen now. No, let's do a flip phone. those old ones with a big hinge. Paint something like Among Us. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I had to get a, a new phone for my wife's father. He's a little, he's a little old. Help him get it set up and everything. But we had to do a flip phone, an old school style one. And it brought me back because I remember the keypad texting in T9 back in the day. Anybody remember T9? Those were the good old days. I never had a Nokia. Let's see, I need nine buttons plus a call button. They're usually like in a weird shape. auxiliary button in the middle, okay. I could leave it like that, or I can round these corners. My dog says hi. What's up, dog? What's up, Liv's dog? Let's just do a black screen. All right, now that white that I was talking about, it's gonna make everything pop out. What's up, Bobby Lipford? Here from North Carolina, I'm pretty close to you, I'm in Virginia. I gotta remember there's a camera on my chest. I need to play play better cameraman. I'm already doing like these weird squats to try to like get the camera where I'm painting. It's hard to focus on everything at the same time.
I'm not trying to put too much time into these things. Let's get colors. My uncle lives in West Virginia. That's cool. I feel like wood is the, the appropriate material for a jukebox. Blue, green, and yellow are the main colors here. Let's go ahead and add some of those so that I can work with them. Green, yellow, crap. Green, yellow, green, yellow. It's fine. You get a blue phone. Your job is perfect. No, it's not. It's far from perfect. Why? What am I doing? Blue, green, yellow. Blue to green to yellow. Blue should be in the middle. I'm out of green. I appreciate the compliments, guys. I do enjoy being able to talk about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Kind of makes the time go by a little easier. A little more enjoyable. It does make me nervous. Not because I feel like I'm being judged necessarily because you guys are always real supportive and loving, but like if I mess up or if I take a long time to do something, I feel like you guys are bored. But it's fine, I enjoy it. I really need to fill this up too. This is one of my favorite colors. It's Maui Blue by Createx. Most of the colors I paint straight out of the bottle. I don't mix them at all. Oh wait, blue's supposed to be in the middle. That's fine. Came on my YouTube a month ago. A month ago on YouTube, I had about 2,000 subscribers. And then I blew up real quick because of one video, and I thought, like, oh, sweet, now I got it. Um, but then no one cared. So now I have 40,000 subscribers that all live in India that don't actually want to see my work or anything like that. Been using a dart for sure. Appreciate you guys helping me out in the chat with those comments about the requests and things like that. It's very helpful for me to not have to answer and explain all that but yeah these are all these are all paid orders from customers I did a live stream last night actually and I'm gonna continue to do those where I'm, I'm streaming just to paint requests right I was I already threw the shirts away but I had three blank shirts up and I was just writing names just constantly for like an hour and uh, it was fun so I'm gonna do more of those 
It'll be fine. This will be fine. Yellow. But right now, yeah, right now I'm doing work, painting orders for customers. I'm really not happy with this jukebox. I don't like it. What is your website name? Airbrush Customs. You can just do a just do a Google search for Airbrush Customs and I should pop up. Or you can go to the profile or the description or wherever you are. You should be able to find it if you try your hardest. Do you do dark shirts? Sometimes um, I do. They're not offered on my website because they're, it's, I mean, you can send me a, a contact link and we can talk about it. They're not on the website for everybody because they take a lot longer. There's a lot more things to discuss about. Them. This paint is transparent. As you see, like I'm painting over these black lines, but it's not covering up those black lines. That same thing applies on an actual black t-shirt, where if I painted this blue on a black t-shirt, you would see nothing. So I have to put down a white base first, and there's a lot of extra steps. It takes a lot of extra time. It doesn't show up nearly as bright, and it fades faster. So there's a lot of reasons why I try to avoid black. Um, but yes, it's possible. And it's not limited to t-shirts. I can also paint on canvases and things like that. So if you really want a piece of artwork and you're like, I don't want to wear a white t-shirt, well, maybe maybe you don't need a t-shirt at all. Maybe we can, we can paint a canvas. That might be better for everybody. Does the airbrush wash off? It Airbrushing always fades slightly over time. It's just gonna do that. Um, so does a screen printed shirt, so does a digitally printed shirt. Um, shirts fade over time, but no, when you put it in the washer, it's not just going to wash away completely. There's washing instructions. I suggest cold water to wash it. Um, inside out is best. It's very good to let them hang dry if you can. Um, but if you take care of them properly, they'll last for years. They do look good after a long time. An airbrush shirt probably isn't something that you'll be wearing all the time and it's probably something that you'll be careful with. So if you can wear it, keep it clean, and wash it as needed, you'll be good to go for a long time. I'm kind of ready to move on from this shirt at this point. I'll finish up these white highlights, and then I will go to the next one. I might revisit it later. Good enough for now. I might get a hat from you. Hats are fun. Hats are neat. I got one hat to paint here. I'm not gonna do that yet. I should do this one. This one's cool. It's a script or it's a tattoo font, so it's gonna be more complicated than just a regular script font. It's something that I don't do a lot of, so it's gonna be I have to take my time on it. And there's a rose. This is a cool design. Let's do it. M-A-S-A-L-L-A-H. M-A-S-A-L-L-A-H. It's got like a curly deal on the bottom that I'm not familiar with. Text is going to be the hard part here. I'm going to do my best, but I'm, this is a difficult one for me to do. Have you ever tried to do a beanie? Yeah, I do beanies too. Beanies aren't on my website either. They need to be. They're on my Etsy shop. Is 
see, I'm already running out of room. I'm already shooting this way, so I gotta start scrunching things in. It's important to recognize that quickly so you can make an adjustment. You guys get to watch me struggle here. I should be able to do this much easier. I just haven't tried this, done this lettering in a long time. Not happy with that. I don't like it at all. Um, I'm gonna make it look a lot better, but. I gotta make my A's look more like A's, because right now they're Kinda not. I gotta add this curly thing down here. Appreciate the positive encouragement. Thank you. Man, a couple of months ago, I'd be like, I'd be shaking while I'm painting right now because I'm like, I, they don't like it. It's bad. They're not gonna, they're gonna follow me. No, I don't. I'm not so fragile. Let's make this thick. It's better, it's kind of hard to read. My A's don't look like A's. They don't look like each other, they're inconsistent. An A should have, I mean, again, those white highlights at the end are gonna make this a lot better. I wanna add shadows here to add some detail, but I don't wanna muddy everything up and make it harder to read. It's already kind of difficult to read. What I learned today is that I need to, need to develop a tattoo font. What do I do when I delete chat when it's over? Okay, yeah, the last couple live streams I have deleted when they were done because mostly because of technical difficulties. Um, I have had so much trouble streaming the last few days. Everything has been messing up on me. Um, hopefully that won't be the case. I don't think it's the case today. I think we'll be fine. This was a weird decision, but I did it anyway. I'm a little OCD, so when I have a video that like doesn't meet my standards or something, I just I feel the need to delete it, and maybe I need to let go of that. I appreciate you guys about buying the hat and all that. That's awesome, I'd love to make you one. I gotta paint a rose right here. Let's paint a rose. I'm gonna do a 
big stem here. Let's see, we got most of the weight here-ish. It's kind of pretty evenly spaced, but I'm put the head of the rose here and then we'll curl it around some way or something. Do I want to do it in black or just red? I'm gonna do black. Okay. The general shape of the rose, I'm like sketching out the, the cup that it would be. There's the center point of it. I'm not good at painting roses. This is another thing that I don't have a lot of experience for. I like to work from the inside out, drawing petals, knowing that they overlap each other somehow. And it doesn't really start. This is weird. Oh, I guess. I don't like it. I don't like it. I need to add something. It's so bad. It's so bad. You got this. You got this. PSI right now 30, 35 ish. I got a new compressor and it's outside which is nice because you haven't been hearing that compressor. That's probably the biggest complaint from before is your compressor is too loud. And I was like, yeah, I know. I finally got one, it's outside. Covered it up so it stays outside in the rain and all that. Which has nothing to do with what you asked, but I'm rambling, so here it is. I'm your fan. Thank you. I like to have fans. All right, let's add some color and then some white highlights. It'll make everything feel a little bit better. Free and Rose would have needed reference. I would like to have used a reference. Um, give me a give me a rating. I give it three stars. It's obviously a rose. There's no question about what that is. It's a rose, but it's not great. What color am I doing? Red sparkly rose, green stem thorns. I want to add some, some design here. This is a, a risky decision, but for some reason, rose designs, this brings me back to my early days when I was working for that theme park. We had a rose design there. It didn't look anything like this. But it always had this red splatter around the outside. So whenever I paint a rose, it brings me back to this splattery effect. I think it's cool. So to force myself to get better at these 
two aspects of this design that I struggled with. I'm going to make this into a design and put it on the website so that people can buy it. And then when they buy it and I'm like, oh man, they bought the thing, I'm just gonna have to get better and better at it. And problem solved. I learned a tattoo font and I learned how to paint roses faster. And there it is. It'd be the first design on the site with a rose and the first one with this font style, so. It'd be brand new. Also, kind of unrelated, I'm working on a website update. The whole website's gonna be completely different. Um, and with that, all of the designs that exist are going to be updated and changed. And I'm trying to get that out as soon as possible to get everyone site up before everyone starts because I don't want to change it in the middle of them browsing around. So I'll have some late nights probably this weekend putting my web developer hat on. Dun, dun, dun. Not sure what she is doing me. First of all, I'm a man. Second of all, Obviously, I'm struggling. Bruh. Did you just assume my... Just kidding. Please call me out now. Everybody check out Betty. There she is. She asked. Everyone is their own worst critic. That is true. That's something that I have to tell my wife all the time because she does awesome work and is just not confident in it. You should never have to, to judge your own artwork type of things based on what you think other people think of it. Um, practically in a business type of world you kind of have to because if no one liked these shirts and I was painting them for money, um, first of all they'd never buy them. but. Yeah, I do have to make sure that people like them. But when you're doing artwork for yourself, paint what you want to paint, you know? The world is big enough, there are enough people in it that your style is attractive to somebody. So, if you're not doing commissioned artwork for somebody of a particular specific thing and you're just painting what you want to paint, paint what you want to paint, don't worry about it. Um, I think this is fine. I think this is okay. I'll move on. Thank you, man. It, it turned out better than I. I still don't like the A's. They look. They. I don't like them. I'm gonna do something different next time with those. I just logged out of my chat again. There it is. Moving on. Purple and pink. I think other colors here. Purple, pink, and black. Okay. Black text. Stem looks like a snake. Yeah. The whole thing looks a little goofy. That's okay. Dal Dahlia, D-A-H-L-I-A, D-A-H. I don't know why I have such a hard time the last couple of days spelling names, D-A-H-L-I-A. F-E-R-A-L. See, it's just so simple. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. 
pink and purple are the other colors here. I have to do the same old outline thing as I always do. That's another thing. I'm always painting designs from the website. And the most popular ones are this one, basically. Script text with this outline and some color. And again, it's nice and easy and quick to paint. But I'm painting the same thing over and over again. And it gets kind of boring. And you're trying to be creator, but all my content is exactly it's not gonna work. some white. Createx White has so much tip dry. It feels chalky after a little while. It's kind of irritating. Look at all that dried white paint in there. Flakes of it. I explain this often, I'm using the needle here to gently push the dried paint through the inside of the cone out the front. See a little snake of dried paint just coming out. So much in there, no wonder it wasn't working right. This is, this is my version of cleaning airbrushes. When it's necessary, like right now, it's time for me to clean the airbrush, so I take this cone off and I do this. It's not done, there's still paint in there, but I'm gonna call it a day, because it's good enough. And I keep painting. And that's way faster than constantly cleaning everything all the time, at the end of every day. That's all I needed to do, I'm good. This might be the last one. I think I can get both. My battery is starting to run out. K I N A S. That's a dollar sign, but it's S. K I N A S. Front of the shirt, yes. This will be the most fun one of the day. Hmm, 
I'm going to do... A different S. Not really. And a heart down here. Everybody stop commenting, or did I miss them? This S is going to be tricky because there's a dollar sign thing in it. Hopefully that looks like a heart. Kind of afraid it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. I can fix that. I'll fix that by telling your brain to think about hearts. And then you're gonna go, oh, that's another heart. Okay. Pink and yellow. A bunch of little dagger strips in the bottom. Clean it up with one at the end. Everybody's so quiet all of a sudden. Where'd you guys go?
Maybe I'm just not getting in chats anymore. It says there's 50 people in here and no one said anything in five minutes. That's unusual. I do a stream tomorrow please probably hopefully what are those beats um this is just a spotify playlist lo-fi hip-hop beats to study relax to you know that type of thing um it's the only music i do have an account for artlist now so i can play whatever music from there but it's the only music on spotify that i enjoy that doesn't give me copyright claims so i can listen to it without worrying about all of that do you know the artist Lady Pink? Um, I'm familiar with Lady K. I don't think I know a Lady Pink. Maybe. What brand of airbrush do I use? These are Omni 3000s. I've used lots of different ones. I'm not married to these. I just, I have a bunch of them. They're all the same. They're all Omni <coughs> 3000s. But uh, Iwata Neos are really good. They're a newer airbrush. They're either new or I just now learned about them. Um, they're a little lower price point than their Eclipse series. But if you're getting into airbrushing, it's a great beginner airbrush. They're 60 bucks as opposed to these being about 80. The Eclipse being around 100. The Iwata Neo is a great place to start. I have one over there. I've said this before, it's been a while. I have a master airbrush kit here that I still have not even unboxed. Um, I'm gonna do a video on that, hopefully this weekend, and reviewing that. And I will also review the Iwata Neo, and I will kind of compare all three, this one as well, and kind of show this is what you can work on, this is what you can work with, this is what you should start with, or whatever. Um, I know that the Omni 3000 and the Iwata are great brushes, this master airbrush is about $30 and I'm not sure how it's going to perform. I know it's not going to be as good as the other two, but if is it going to be good enough to start with? We will find out together. I don't know. Lady Pink is a graffiti artist from the Bronx from back in the day. I know I've heard of her. I know I have. And I know people have asked me that question before. I'm not a big graffiti head. Um, I just I've never been in this in the scene. I've never had other graffiti friends. Um, and honestly, only recently has my my work been influenced by graffiti artists. Because I always I was dumb, dude. I had a, a negative impression of graffiti. Um, I loved the lettering style and stuff, but. I was one of those people that thought graffiti was always done by bad people on walls and shouldn't be done by anybody, and I was, I was dumb. Um, and then I finally realized that that's not the case, and started having a lot of fun, and looked up other artists. And, you know, started having a community with some some other artists, and that was fun. I've been a graffiti artist at heart my whole life. I just didn't know it. I thought I liked to draw buildings. It turns out I'd like to draw letters and shapes. Where am I from? I am from United States. My sister thinks you're boring, that's cool. Thayer Chandler, yeah, Omni, these Omni 3000 is from Thayer and Chandler. Badger bought, I'm pretty sure Badger bought Thayer and Chandler a long time ago. You've got graph mates now, I appreciate that. That's a very nice thing. What do I have, 9% battery? I'm gonna try to knock this one out real quick. Oh, but it's, um, we'll wrap up our conversation here because it's going to be dying here. Birthday girl. I need to take this design off the site um, because I hate writing in fluorescent colors. You got to lay down so much paint to make a nice sharp line. Otherwise, it doesn't stand out enough. 
so it just takes a lot of extra time. I'd much rather paint in black and then do pink around it. And I kind of like missed the center of the shirt here. Yeah, I'll just do this one after this stream on my own time. Um, what else is there to say? What else do I need to talk about? Nothing really. Birthday. What air pressure for T's? This is about 35 PSI. Usually somewhere between 30 and 50 is good. Do you know about Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan. I don't. I don't know about Uzbekistan. Or how to pronounce it. I'm a dumb American. I'm sorry. This is bad. I'm going to probably redo this whole shirt because that's just laid out dumb. What else do I have to do over here? I'm going to add on to this a little bit. Anybody have any more questions before I hop off of here? Now is the time to ask them. Dude, my battery's about to die, so I have to do that thing. I bought some new GoPro batteries because these seem to be lasting and dying faster and faster. All right. Well, if no one's got anything else, I probably will stream. No, maybe not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'll do my best. I'm trying to stream way more often but I have other little things to do in life and stuff but here's what we did today as always some jukebox that was a strange one I'm really into writing graffiti by spray but I never done it before what? happy birthday to your uncle happy birthday live LP's uncle and just Green Bay Packers by itself yeah, you should definitely get into um, airbrushing or spray painting. It's, it's a lot of fun. Stoked to finally caught you live. I'm glad you did too. It's been a while. I appreciate the conversations that we have had today. Um, I had fun struggling through this one with you guys. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Um, I'm gonna hop off here. Love you guys. Thank you.